everybody my name is Jessica and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new this is an update video of my pan those eyeshadows project update number three I'm super excited to update you today we have some really great updates some really exciting things to share with you I wanted to quickly just give myself props for my background it is December it's Christmas as you can tell and I just love the Christmas season and you might notice there's a little friend in here and for anyone who's wondering that is the adorable baby Yoda using the force to um, find us the best shades when we randomly generate them so thank you in advance Yoda so for those of you who may not know Panda's eyeshadows is a super fun project that is sweeping the YouTube world People are just getting use out of their eyeshadows by choosing a shade randomly with the random number generator and then incorporating, doing that with five shades and then incorporating those shades into as many looks as they can to try and hit pan on them. I've really been enjoying this project because it's been a great way for me to rotate through my collection to use shades that I wouldn't maybe normally reach for and it's also really helped to push my creativity with my eyeshadow game and not to mention I'm getting use out of the makeup that I've spent my hard-earned money on so it feels really satisfying hopefully this is the last video I'm filming with natural light because the light keeps changing I have the worst lighting in this apartment I swear that I only get maybe an hour of shooting time while I'm home and not at work so <sighs> bear with me okay now, without further ado, let's get into the update. The shade that I got the most use out of this month was from the Vice 4 palette, and it is the shade Bones. And I'll insert a picture here of what that shade was looking like. And I've used this shade now 17 times this month. And um, here is the shade now. So here's the shade now, and it's this one right here. And you can see it's got some disturbance in the surface there. It's really hard to show. Um, so I've used this 17 times. And when I got this shade rolled in, I was not very excited about it. I was kind of like, oh, great. But I'll tell you, I've kind of fallen in love with it. Um, I love it on the lid. It's actually what I'm wearing on the lid right now. And it's just like so easy to wear every day and it's really pretty I think on the lid really flattering and um, it just pretty much goes with any look I can incorporate it in so I think that's why I've got so many uses on it and uh, yeah I definitely have not hit pan but maybe in the next month if I can continue to use it every day so yeah for bones that one's gonna stay in and I'll give you a swatch of that there's a swatch right there. You can see it's like a really nice, like almost champagne. Very versatile, nice shade. And again, one of the reasons I love this project because I have been ignoring this palette for years and none of the, pal none of the shadows in here have much use on them. So I'm excited to get to know it and, you know, actually enjoy the palette and um, appreciate it for um, its quality. The next shade that we rolled in last update was from the Shanexo Remix palette. I've actually really, really enjoyed using this shade. This is what I wanted. I wanted color. I wanted something to push me outside of my comfort zone. I wanted a challenge and I wanted something that I wouldn't normally reach for. And Baby Girl is a pretty good example of that. And, and it is the shade Baby Girl and it is that hot pink shade. And I'll insert a picture of it here. It already had like a little gouge from a fingernail in it. So that's not from eyeshadow use, but I did kind of decide to focus my brush in that area just to help me out a little bit. It is a hot pink after all. And here's what she looks like now. I've used it 10 times. You can see I've definitely gotten some wear on this shadow and um, I'm excited to keep using it. 20 more uses to roll it out. So hopefully I can use it at least 10 more times in this next month. So that one will stay in and there she is. The next shade that I rolled in last update was from the Natasha Denona bronze palette 
And this is, remember we re-rolled in this palette after rolling out another shade that I had used 30 times. And then I was sad to roll it out and I was so happy that it got rolled back in. So the shade that we had selected was Ridge. And I'll insert a picture of what it looked like last month. It was pretty much untouched. I'd use it maybe a handful of times for um, a few shades when I had just, you know, been trying out this palette. And this is what it looks like now. So it's this shade right here, Ridge. So hard to film this. I'm gonna try taking it out of the packaging. Yep, again, not huge progress. I've dipped it in, into it 15 times, 15 uses. Um, so you can kind of see there's a small dip in there. I use a pretty fluffy brush for this. I use it in the crease a lot, almost every day. It actually pairs pretty well with a pink shade. I'll keep this in the rotation for another month, but I highly, highly doubt I will hit pan on this. I just, um, it's very, very densely packed, very pigmented. I use a fluffier brush. Um, so I probably won't hit pan before rolling it out, but I definitely can get 50 more uses in this month. And here's a swatch of Ridge for you. It's a really pretty like mustardy brown color. Okay, now for the exciting part. The part you've all been waiting for. The pans! I have hit four pans this month, and I know what you're thinking. Jessica, I thought you only had five shades in your rotation. We have bonus pan! I know, I'm super excited. The Take Me Back to Brazil palette by BH Cosmetics. And I was determined to use this palette as much as possible. I was pretty close to hitting pan on a red shade in here because I had used it a lot for a Halloween makeup look. I was Chucky and my husband was Freddy Krueger and I did our makeup and so I'll insert a picture of our makeup here. I'm pretty proud of it. It was super fun to do. So I got really close to hitting pan on that orangey red shade and I figured why don't you just focus on that red shade you'll get a pan in this palette and you'll feel satisfied because the shade that I was working on was that green iridescent topper shade and I never thought that I would get enough use out of it to hit pan. I think Yoda was doing his job because the makeup miracle has happened. I actually did it. Da -da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. A miracle has occurred. I don't know how this happens. I just started, well again, I got that hot pink look, um, the hot pink shadow into my um, project and this green iridescent topper actually pairs really, really well with that pink. And I also started using it with the Ridge shade from Natasha Denona, one of my friends suggested that I do that. She said to put the like brown all over the lid and then the crease and like buff it out into the crease and then top it with the green shade. And I forgot to take a picture of that, but it did look really nice and it was very, very wearable and it was a great suggestion. So thank you and you know who you are. So I hit pan, can you believe it? And these shadows are really powdery. So once I started digging in there and I was using like a detail brush in there, it became pretty easy to do that. Um, and then I have a bonus pan again in that red orangey shade. I just used that on like a couple more looks after um, last month's update and was able to hit a little pan on there. And then remember my plan was to just use the black shade 30 times and roll this palette out and be done with it. Um, and so I did that. Well, I don't think I used the red, black shade 30 times, but I used the black shade as a um, liner almost every day. And I was able to have pan on that too. So three pans in this one eyeshadow palette that I didn't think I would hit any pans on. Oh my gosh, I'm just having the time of my life. <laughs> Pretty excited. I know, I'm a huge nerd. We're gonna roll out this palette, goodbye. You all know this isn't my favorite palette, but it was kind of nice to get to know it better and I did get some fun looks out of it. I will keep it in my collection for Halloween makeup or play makeup. Um, but for now, I'm happy to see it go. Do not take me back to Brazil. Don't. Oh, and by the way, I used that palette 17 more times. Um, no, 18 more times for a total of 30 uses. And one more thing before I forget is to show you the swatch of that shade. It's right here. 
and you can see it's like it's kind of chalky <laughs> it's not a great shade and the last shade we had in our project was from the Viseart theory palette and this is excuse him that's butter he's very naughty um, anyways from the Viseart theory palette the palettes is named amethyst but the individual shades don't have um, names but it was shade number four and I'll insert a picture here of what it looked like last month. You can check it out. I was pretty close. I had a good dip in it. And after four more uses, making for a total of 17 uses, I was able to hit pan. This is a really pretty shade. It's actually a very subtle purple. Oh, and yes, that is a smiley face on my hand. I am a, I'm a kindergarten teacher and... Um, Sometimes that follows me home. So yeah, I have a good size pan in that. Um, beautiful shade, super easy to wear. It basically wears like a neutral. And um, here's a swatch of it. There it is right there. See, this is the um, purpley shade and this is Bones. Bones kind of has like a cooler undertone to it. But yeah, um, again, you can also see like how neutral it reads in a swatch. That's butter running around also. Oh my gosh, he gets like the zoomies in the afternoon. I don't know why. Like every afternoon I'm trying to film, he's like gets hyped up and wants to like attack everything and jump on everything. So yeah, again, this was a really expensive palette. I think I paid like $50 for this. So I'm happy I got some use out of it. And after four months with it, I will say goodbye and i um, ready to bring out something new. All right, so here are the swatches. So here's our palette from last month that we're rolling out and I'm going to insert some pictures here now of some looks that I did all right so in this look I used ridge throughout the crease I used bones on the lid and then I used the baby girl shade the hot pink as a liner and I really um, lined the underline with it and like create like a dramatic um liner underneath the eye that it was nice it was um different and then here's another look where I just did a lot of pink um I really deepened up I did like a wash of pink in the crease and then I like deepened up the pink um in the outer corner and then I used the Viseart purple shade on the lid and I probably used bones as the inner corner highlight and on the brow bone and then here is a picture I used. We're using the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette. And this was on Halloween. And I did a like witch look. And I had a big bright orange wig that I wore. And I did an orange eye all over the eye. So I was just using that palette. And um, I think I just used... I did use that orangey red shade to like deepen the crease. You can see it doesn't look that deep. It's not that pigmented. And another orange shade in there just to give it a nice orange wash. This is actually a really pretty shade. I really enjoyed this. I did the um, hot pink shade, the baby girl shade in my crease, like pretty dark. Um, and I like mixed it with the ridge shade. So it basically turned orange. And then I used a shimmer shade from the Natasha Denona bronze to like enhance that um, orangey look. And I thought it turned out really pretty. And the pink in this use doesn't really look that pink. It, um, it's really cool how you're able to mix shades and create a whole different color. Another look I really liked is this one here. This, I used the hot pink shade um, kind of on the outer part of the lid lightly and then bones on the inner part and then like buffed out the crease with that ridge shade. It was a pretty simple look. I was just trying to make these looks like some of them at least as wearable as I could. And here is that watercolor shade. And I say watercolor because I really was trying to sheer out that pink as much as possible and just make it look really soft. And then I put the ridge um, shade all over, not ridge, bones shade all over the eye to give it that kind of sparkle. Oh, and I really liked this look. I used the pink shade in the crease, ridge above that to kind of like buff it out. And, oh, I, and I used like the pink kind of concentrated in the outer corner. And then I created a orangish red wing with, um, that orange red shade from the BH Cosmetics palette. And then there's a really pretty shimmer in the Natasha Denona that I love. It's called 
um, Bliss, and I put that over the pink and um, yeah, in the inner part of the lid, and I just thought it looked super cool, super different, but like still like pretty wearable and very pretty. One of my most fun looks that I did, uh, I was just at home having like me time, and I decided to play with my makeup, and I came up with this, and I just like packed on the color of that hot pink shade, and then the orange shade on the outer and inner part of my lid and I created like a very stark line um, and just didn't blend it out at all and I really loved it and I also kind of tried to match it with my lip I did like a pink outer part of the lip and then orange in the inner part of my lip and I loved how it turned out it was fun um, I just felt like I was getting these mod vibes and I felt pretty sassy and it was fun so I also thought I would add just a little more drama after I had was having too much fun I guess and I added like a graphic liner around it so I think I wanted the liner to be like a little more like rounded and not have the wing out but that the wing just kind of happened I don't know how not to do a wing sometimes but yeah it was fun and um, my husband definitely gave me some fun compliments when he got home that day so those are the looks that I created. I hope you enjoy seeing them. I really enjoyed capturing them. I think it adds like an extra element to these videos. So let me know what you thought of them. And uh, now it's time to move on to the most exciting part. <laughs> We're going to roll in some new shades. And um, I can't wait to see what we get. I did go through and update my spreadsheet. And I have 401 total eyeshadows. That is the correct number. Had a hard time getting to that, but it's 401 total. So far I have 12 pans in my collection. Um, so we have 389 pans remaining to choose from. So we're going to put into our random number generator uh, the numbers 1 to 389. Okay, so here we are. Let's go. And we're gonna be rolling in two new shades to our project. So the first shade is number, what, come on, 13. And the next shade is 109. So I'm gonna see what those shades are and then um, I'll update you. Shade 13 is from my Tartiste Pro To Go palette. And I'm pretty excited to have this in. It, it's been in my collection for a while and uh, the shade that I rolled in was shade number three, so we have one, two, three, this shade right here. Uh, these, this is in the shade Boss, it's pretty. It's like a coppery shimmer, which I really like to wear. Easy to wear. There we go. That's a nice shade. So yeah, that'll be pretty easy to hit pan, and I hope. I do know that these pans are pretty dense, but hopefully because it's a shimmer, I'll be able to get a pan on that within 30 uses. And the other shade we rolled in, shade 109, <gasps> I'm really excited. It's from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Jackie Ina palette. And this is a very new palette in my collection and I've only gotten to use it a couple times. Um, however, the second shade got rolled in and that is the shade Supreme. Take a look at this, this one, Supreme, the pink. More pink in the middle of winter, you know, like, okay. I was, <laughs> it's, pretty, it's different enough than our other pink that I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna keep it in. Um, that's what this is all about, right? It's all about challenging ourselves. So I'm gonna go with it. And it looks, it's very, very pigmented. It's kind of more of like a corally pink, I would say. And there it is, swatched right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the rest of our shades all together and give you a look at our palette for this coming month. So here's our palette for this month. We have Bones from Urban Decay, Vice 4 palette, Baby Girl from the Shanixo Remix palette, and we have Ridge up here from Natasha Denona Bronze Palette. So those are all staying in. And then rolling in, we have Boss from the Tartis Pro To Go Palette. And we have Supreme from the Jackie Ina Anastasia Beverly Hills Palette. 
So thanks again for checking out this video. Sorry about the lighting. Hopefully this is the last video that we'll have to deal with this issue. But I appreciate you following up on my progress and tracking me in this really, really fun project. And I look forward to updating you all next month on how this crazy palette goes for me. Crazy December palette. <laughs> all right, everyone. Have a great rest of your day. Bye. Meow.